Hey, what's up everyone? Coach Danny here. Today, Friday, we're going to be doing the Fitness Fridays videos every week. So check it out. Subscribe to our channel. Um, today, we're going to be going through a very basic exercise that you guys can do when you're here at the gym. So there's a little bit of music going on right now. People are training. So all I'm going to be showing you guys is how to do the standing barbell overhead press. It's an excellent exercise to work your front deltoids. It's really good for your triceps, for pushing. If you guys do martial arts, if you do boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, even if you do jiu-jitsu, this will greatly enhance your strength and your power as well as your shoulder girdle stability which is very very crucial in martial arts so check it out follow me I'll show you how it's done What's up everyone, Coach Danny here. This week we wanted to start off with a brand new video to start 2017 uh, regarding fitness. So as many of you know, I like to use uh, free weights in order to enhance uh, productivity for fitness and strength. In this case, I'm going to be showcasing a very common exercise which is called the standing barbell overhead press. So keep in mind this video is not a tutorial on exactly how to do CrossFit or specific functional training. It's just a quick video tip on trying to help you enhance your form as well as enhance your strength. I get a lot of questions on a weekly basis from students and people on the video channel that asking just requests on how to improve uh, punching power, how to improve like additional exercises that they can do to try to improve their, um, their functional strength for martial arts. So right here as you'll see, I'm just basically doing overhead press using a barbell. Uh, it's also referred to as a military press and a lot of times um, it's done in uh, the bodybuilding circles, it's done in powerlifting, it's done in strength training, it's done in a lot of functional strength training. Here I just want to show the proper form where you'll stop your barbell at approximately the clavicle or chest height and then press right up overhead. Now I'm also going to cover a couple of places where I see common mistakes and here's one of them. The common one is pushing straight forward. So as you'll see here, I'm trying to demonstrate as best as possible is this is almost like an incline press, standing incline press. Another common mistake is also pressing the weight above and behind your neck. Uh, this is very dangerous, especially when you start to add a lot more weight on the bar. As you'll notice here, every time I push up, I almost lose my balance because I'm trying to control the weight overhead. That's very wrong. Now, here, I'm also demonstrating a lot of people do half reps. Not a lot to be said on half reps, but it's basically just because you're adding too much weight. So if you can't do full extension, maybe reduce your weights. Enough said. In this case here, I'm also showing a very good tip. This is going to be the experience tip. It's called a static hold. So basically, you're going to raise up for a certain amount of weight and hold the contraction. It doesn't look like much right now when you're looking at it, but hold it for a count of 15 to 20 seconds. And trust me, you'll feel it. Very good for isometric strength. Now keep in mind, every time you're doing sets, you wanna take a couple of minutes rest in between sets. I like to add weight incrementally. Obviously, for the purpose of videos, I'm always using lighter weights. Here, I'm mentioning that it's a common mistake using our legs. Now, a lot of these CrossFit people will start to uh, bash that this is called a push press, and it's very effective. Push press has a different function. Here we're talking about military presses or overhead presses using the barbell. So if you're gonna be using your legs, uh, lots of time it's because you're using way too much weight. So if you wanna isolate the shoulder area on only the pressing portion to enhance pushing strength only, you'll wanna do it without that bounce. Now here I'm just showing very quickly, this is not a mistake, it's just a narrower grip, um, a little bit inside or parallel to shoulder grip, which is also very good. A lot of coaches will tell you, you know, go a little outside shoulder, other people parallel to shoulder. I say it's a matter of preference. Obviously, you're going to involve a lot more triceps if you're doing it with a narrow grip. In this case here, how to hold your bar? This is another common question. Should I go with a thumb around the bar or thumb over the bar as such. Well, once again, I like to flag the thumb over the bar, as you can see here. I like to push with the palms. Basically, I find that you have a lot more pushing power when you use your palms than if you wrap your thumb around the bar. In this case here, 
when I try to lift with my thumb around the bar, it puts a lot of strain on my wrist. If I use the thumbless grip or just palm grip, I have a lot more pushing power. And that's the purpose of the exercise. We're not just trying to isolate shoulders just to enhance shoulder or muscle growth. We're trying to enhance pushing power and strength. So when you're using these exercises, obviously, I always recommend doing a couple of sets, maybe three, four working sets after one or two warm-up sets of 15 to 20 reps. You obviously can use 15 to 20 reps for working sets, or you can use a little bit more heavier weight and stop between six to eight or eight to 10 reps, depending on your training curriculum or your phases. If you're gonna be combining the overhead press with uh, circuit training, obviously you're gonna be using much lighter weights and higher reps, but if you're gonna do it as a standalone exercise, I recommend pushing the weights just slightly heavier. So that's pretty much it, guys. There's not much to it. Standing barbell overhead presses, get training. I'll see you next Friday with a new exercise. If you got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to reply. As well as if you guys like to see any other fitness or exercise tips, please leave the comments as well. And I'll try my best to cover that exercise in a future video. Until next time, keep pushing hard. Take care, guys. Over and out.